Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here coming to you from Southeast Central Kansas. December 21st, Friday, 2018. The time is about 2.40 Central Standard Time here in, here in Kansas. A um, lot to go over. Going to quickly go over some things, and then I'm going to read you something because it is just over the top now. Amen. Uh, the Wise Bride. Uh, knows that we are leaving okay glory hallelujah praise the lord jesus christ okay first off the great march of return okay they came uh about ten thousand strong at the gaza strip and uh the border with israel um there was live uh bullets fired upon the people I believe there was like 40 injured, uh, three deaths. There could be potentially be more, obviously. Uh, I believe they said 183 injured. Uh, and naturally, uh, Iran is threatening Israel, death to Israel. Israel will cease to exist. Okay, then we've got Hamas and the PIJ coming out in a joint statement calling the, quote, occupiers uh, because they want to steal away the land of Israel. Okay, uh, the thief doth come to kill, steal, and destroy, but I have come to bring life and more abundantly, Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. It's remarkable, the convergence that's going on right now. Uh, sorry, you know, that was yesterday. I can't just keep going back because the news cycle is just over the top now. There's so much going on. Uh, but with that being said, praise the Lord Jesus. Even so come, amen? Even so come. The Spirit and the Bride say come. Uh, we've got... Erdogan of Turkey uh, just uh, praising Trump's, uh, you know, coming out of Syria withdrawal. Also, it's being reported that 7,000 troops will be withdrawing from Afghanistan. Uh, if the United States starts withdrawing out of there, you know, the fuse is lit, okay? Um, it's being reported right now as we're speaking that uh, Syrian army has already started going toward the eastern part of Syria, okay? We have not left yet. Uh, the United States is doing some severe bombing right now on the ISIS front. Uh, Turkey of Erdogan is saying, you know, he's praising Trump and that he... They both, Trump and Erdogan, had some sort of a secret deal that Erdogan promised that he would take out ISIS. Well, Erdogan's also promised he's going to bury the Kurds, which are our allies, and bury the Syrian Defense Forces, uh, uh, the Defense Army, which was allied also with the United States. Now, UK and France said they're staying in there. Um, it's uh, just remarkable, but we've got fierce fighting going on right now in eastern Syria in the Deir Ezzor region. Um, there was also a terror attack, uh, a shooting in Vienna, Austria, uh, at a restaurant. Um, it's just something else. It's just something else. Um, but mostly, this is my second video, so I'm a little perturbed because I had like a 26-minute video uh, filled with information, okay? And my tablet decided, oh, you're low. You're dangerously low on space, so we'll just cut you out of it. So I had to do a little bit of, uh, you know, maneuvering and erasing and, things so I could come on here and do this. But uh, the message for today, what did Jesus say? I'm going to read you this. Okay. 
It would be Luke 17, verse 26 and 27. Okay. When the Son of Man returns, the world will be like the people were in Noah's day. In those days before the flood, the people enjoyed banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat, and the flood came to destroy them all. And it also goes to uh, Matthew 24, 37 through 39. So we will read that real quick. And then I'm going to share some things with you. It's remarkable the things that we are witnessing, y'all. I'm just, wow. Um, Matthew 24, 37. Here we go. 37, 39, 24, 37. When the Son of Man returns, it will be like it was in Noah's day, in those days before the flood. The people were enjoying banquets and parties and weddings right up to the time Noah entered his boat. People didn't realize what was going to happen until the flood came and swept them all away. That is the way it will be when the Son of Man comes. Amen. So here we go. Now, in the last several weeks, maybe four to six weeks, there was an article that came out. Um, I believe it was in Heretz.com. Uh, don't quote me on that. Some of you may have seen it. It was talking about the Ark of the Covenant, okay? The Ark of God, okay? Uh, back in ancient times you know it was made of gold and it had um, cherubim uh, made of gold pure gold on top of uh, the ark okay and they were bent down low you know beautiful but anyway it's believed that it, it could be a replica okay but it may not be a replica but this covenant this ark was found uh, I believe it was in Ethiopia. I can't find that article right now. Uh, and they believe that it is the Ark of the Covenant. Um, I do not believe it's been opened uh, for out of fearful reverence for God. We know his glory is not in that box anymore. Amen. He rules and reigns in the hearts of mankind through the power of the Holy Spirit when you have accepted Jesus Christ as Savior, as Messiah, as the Christ. Amen? Okay. Then we had the Sanhedrin just recently uh, do their uh, altar dedication with the 70 nations. Okay? And they did a blasphemous uh, sacrificial lamb blood offering. Okay, then to top that all off, they, they have uh, the Jewish people, uh, Sanhedrin, uh, they have uh, put up, I guess, similar to like a GoFundMe account. They are asking for the world uh, to uh, send them money because they are going to make a pure gold crown with uh, jewels and all uh, to give to the Messiah when he gets here. That would be the Antichrist, okay? It's not our Messiah, okay? Then, to top it all off, this was uh, come out on December 19th, and I just saw it. You can go over to breakingisraelnews.com and you can see these things for yourself. I'm not going to read the whole article, but this is the headline. The Sanhedrin invites Nikki Haley to be honorary president of the Organization of 70 Nations. Let me read that again. The Sanhedrin invites Nikki Haley the U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. to be Honorary President of Organization of Seventy Nations. 
and it goes on it praises her gives her you know it you know gives her you know you know what a wonderful person she is and god established the borders of the world based on the 70 children of israel who went down to egypt and the 70 nations that came out of from noah the concept of the 70 nations is uh, from the Bible and symbolizes the basis for the organization while not being intended to imply a limit or requirement for participations. They talk about the concept of the 70 nations um, and the third temple. Uh, it just goes on and on. Okay. Then I call no one rabbi on this earth. I had one rabbi, Rabbi Yeshua, Jesus, Rabbi Jesus, okay? He is my teacher. Glory, hallelujah. But this earthly man, Rabbi Wise, spokesman for the Sanhedrin, explained their decision to choose Nikki Haley to head this organization. Is this why she has left, is leaving the UN? Because she is going to do this, okay? Uh, they go on talking about uh, she's such a faithful representative of the president, but her character gave her a strength that went far beyond the requirements of the job. It says, Haley was raised a Sikh, but converted to Christianity later in life. Nonetheless, Wise insisted that while serving at the UN, she acted in a manner that is representative of biblical tenets. Talking about her support of Israel, going on and on. Then it comes down here, and the Sanhedrin referred to uh, several resolutions in the UNESCO, which is the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and cultural organization denying the connection between the Jewish people and their holy sites on the Temple Mount in Hebron. The Sanhedrin statement noted that these resolutions directly contradicted the Bible, which explicitly dis describes the immutable historical and spiritual connection between the Jews and the land of Israel. Okay? Then, I'm not going to read it all. Like I said, go over to breakingisraelnews.com. You will find it there. You may have to scroll down just a little bit, but it's there. You'll see a picture of Nikki Haley and the big word Sanhedrin. Okay. Um, oh, this is it right here. It says here, quote, Each nation shall be solely responsible for maintaining a fitting and proper justice system as per the seven Noahide laws incumbent upon all of mankind. Wrong. Because we are under the new covenant. Amen? Oh, don't mess with me. Really. I wanted to click on this because it, it leads to an article that talks about, I believe it was in July. Uh, July. I might be wrong on that. Hold on a second. It might be. Hold on. Stupid thing. I did stupid stuff. Okay. It just, uh, it might be letting me go there now. But it led to an article back in 2017 when the Sanhedrin uh, spoke with President Donald Trump about these very things. Okay? Come on, really? Well, it sprows up. Go figure. There. Maybe. We are not under the law. Amen. 
We are saved by grace through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of Man. He paid it all at the cross. He shed his holy blood as a sacrificial lamb for all who would come to him by faith. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. What a time to be alive. But anyway, it's just going on and on, okay? As in the days of Noah, Jesus said, they want to go back to the law and they want to take down the whole world with them. This is it. This is, this is their way of doing things now, okay? It's, it's all together. It's um, amazing. I love you guys. Um, I'll keep you informed if anything drastic should happen, okay? I can't see anything else more drastic. <laughs> I just want to go home, amen. I got cookies to bake. Um, I've got a few things I still need to get out there and go pick up. Um, I pray that this message has been a blessing to you. Stand strong in the faith. Make no doubt about it. The rapture is going to happen just as the Lord Jesus said it's going to happen through his prophets, through his apostles, through his own words. Uh, this world, this Christ-rejecting world, has got another thing coming, okay? Um, who is worthy? Worthy is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. He alone is worthy. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. Um, probably won't be on here. I might be because anything could happen as far as that goes. Um, I'll just let you know, okay? Um, I just love you guys, and I can hardly wait to be with all of you. Being with the Savior, we're going home. We're going home. Have the overflowing hope in the power of the Holy Spirit. The same Holy Spirit that rose our Savior from the grave is about to take us home. Maranatha.